Hey guys, this is Vivo T1 Pro and there is something interesting about this T1 series from Vivo which has been doing really well in terms of sales. So there has to be something interesting as we compare to other brands. So Vivo T1 Pro, of course it offers Snapdragon 778G processor which we have seen in other devices as well, maybe costlier or even cheaper models. But also there is 66 watts flash charge here. Uh, which the competition doesn't offer this much fast charge because the realme 9 pro plus which is a direct competitor to the t1 pro offers 60 watts charging and there is one interesting device direct competitor to the vivo t1 pro which i'll tell you later in this video make sure to watch the video till the end so there is snapdragon 778 5g processor which is more than enough for multitasking gaming or other activities that you do on your smartphones every day but the interesting thing here is amoled display which they have chosen to be 6.44 inches with the era of uh, huge screens because if you look at the samsung and other brands they are uh, uh, giving you larger screen mobile phones for the price but vivo has gone with the understated screen which is 6.44 inches amoled display uh, i don't think it's 120 hertz refresh rate but still the brightness is really good they have said that uh, the brightness is around 1300 nits which is really useful when you are in sunlight bright day conditions so that's a unique thing about the t1 pro one of the unique aspect there is another 64 megapixel ai triple camera setup here now this camera setup is really interesting and also sort of boring i would say because companies have been giving this triple camera setup there is nothing unique to talk about but again since vivo and oppo they have come a long way in terms of how the camera is performing i mean the image quality or the video quality because back in the days the image sharpening was not great the image quality was not great with the vivo or oppo phones even though they are camera focused phones but nowadays vivo as well as oppo they have come a really far way and they have improved quite a lot on how the image quality comes out of this also there are features that are packed to the brim on your vivo phone so let's find out in this video i'll show you instead of reviewing like a traditional way saying the benchmarks and giving you other stuff which are not useful to the normal buyers i'll just focus on important things why would you buy a phone one the camera should be really great uh, especially the selfie as well as rear camera the main camera and also how's the multitasking performance if you are gaming and doing other stuff so that really matters regarding battery backup it shouldn't matter on whatever phones you buy because you see these days they are giving fast charge with this phone you have the 66 watts flash charge which means you don't have to worry about the battery backup at all easily it gives you one day battery and then when you plug in the charger it charges very very fast so you don't have to worry about battery backup at all whatever phone you buy another thing is uh, with the user interface how smooth the mobile performs overall so the direct competitor for this t1 pro before we begin the review and unboxing of this one is the samsung m53 5g again samsung has uh, offering uh, like very competitive products especially these days with the price to uh, value performance because they know the other brands are doing quite well there is also realme 9 pro plus which is an awesome device as well but again i don't find it quite interesting enough if you want to look out there because they offer you dimensity processor again that's also nice thing but here you have the a well proven snapdragon 778 5g so guys without wasting any more time let's unbox this one and yes i know unboxing is uh, not how it used to be earlier because those days like companies would surprise you with some interesting products inside the box but these days they don't even offer a charger right so let's look at what vivo t1 pro has to offer and we will also look at the camera quality and other aspects so this is the vivo t1 pro and as you can see it's a texturized box so they have a little bit of changes over there and it's made in India. It comes with main features that's written behind the box. You can find 66 watts flash charge, Snapdragon 778 5G like I said in the video, 6.44 inch AMOLED display and 64 megapixel triple camera. Now the SAR rating for this one is 1.15 watt per kilogram and 0.56 watt per kilogram for the body. So let's go ahead and unbox this one and take a look at what's inside the box. So the first thing you see is again texturized card box and it's a good thing that they are providing clear case which they haven't skipped yet let's see with the next generations would they provide this one or not so there is a huge camera bump here with the first thing that you might see as you open the box let's check out the mobile phone itself so this is the vivo t1 pro so this is how huge the camera hump is so do you like this kind of camera hump let me know in the comment section down below because it's kind of unique it looks nice but then again it's very huge in what we have seen 
with other phones and nice thing that they have packed in a USB type C cable uh, which is nice they have not missed out on this and there is this brick charger so it's huge it's heavy because of the 66 watts that it has to offer so these are the contents you get inside the box so let's check out how's the phone the camera quality and the rest of the things so how's the camera performance of the vivo t1 pro so i have been testing this for quite a few days now so i'll go through the photos some of the photos that i have clicked and i'll tell you if it is worth buying so as with regard to video i'll tell you straight away so there is uh, not really much issue with respect to how the video quality of this camera performs so it also has up to like 4k 60 frames per second so you are losing the stabilization there if you are using up 60 frames per second and there is also significant crop but then again if you are using as a normal camera yes there is 4k 30 frames per second that you can record and you also have this stabilization which is electronic and i would suggest you that you shoot it with up to 1080p and 60 frames per second so that would be really smooth it's not quite great and not up to the mark but then again it should do the job very well so that is what i can say regarding the video now let's look at the photo performance picture performance because that's why you buy the vivo phone right for the selfie camera or for the rare camera so this 2 megapixel macro is absolutely crap and it doesn't perform as it should and it's unusable so it's not usable at all so if you're buying a camera to capture good macros avoid this vivo phone so as you can see with 2 megapixel camera there is not much room to play with the resolution here but then again when it captures it captures well very very blurry shots no matter how the uh, condition is you try to capture macro shots with this vivo phone you'll be disappointed so i would suggest you avoid this phone if you are buying it just for the macro camera but i won't uh, think that you will be buying it just for the macro purpose uh, so let's look at some of the other images here's the picture from main camera no filter nothing so as you can see the detail is quite good i would not say it's great but it's quite good and does the job well as you can see there is a little bit of uh, over sharpening at some point and a little bit of over softened image at other uh, aspects here as you can see if i zoom in the image so clearly it's not quite sharp as you would expect but the good thing is the color tones that comes out of the uh, camera is really good so the pictures come out a little bit with the cooler tones uh, but then again that does uh, the job really well if you are capturing landscape it helps when there is a cooler temperature that is set on the camera and as you can see with slight saturation the image comes out really well like a little bit punchy you can say as you can see there is plenty of features that you can play with in order to get the color saturation accurate so that is a quite good thing of owning a vivo phone again looking at some other images here as you can see uh, the temperature has been maintained quite cool so with this particular image i would say it should have been a little warmer for the correct color temperature so that is how uh, it should have been but then again it prefers cooler temperature looking at this image as you can see how it renders the texture so it renders quite well not quite sharp if you compare it with the competition it's quite on par with that respect looking at the other images here especially with the selfie camera i'm quite impressed on how this performs so if you're looking to buy a selfie camera i would recommend this vivo t1 pro definitely performs really well in terms of how the skin tone how the color comes out of the camera as you can see here um, it's quite struggling with still with the blur thing here if you blur it too much so it's not recognizing the face properly but then again it's not that bad so that's the plus point here so just a normal selfie as you can see without any filter or any buffing skin buffing or any uh, beauty mode on it performs quite well the colors the tones that comes out are natural and does the job really well if i just move on the ultra wide angle yes it comes with a ultra wide angle camera as well does quite well than the normal camera i would say as you can see the images are quite sharp enough and there is also auto focus with the ultra wide camera which performs really well and you can easily use the auto focus and control the exposure and then take some ultra wide angle photos so with a professional perspective the ultra wide angle performs quite well so there is no issue with this one with the 1x zoom also uh, with the sharpness and all it performs quite good if the wind is not so windy if the weather is not so windy it performs really well again as you can see this is with 2x zoom so if you keep on zooming the camera it doesn't perform quite good it's struggling to keep that sharpness so that's again a little bit of disappointing thing here so this is with the 10x zoom so it's not usable at all so there is 10x digital zoom 
but that's there if you need again with no details at all so it's completely not usable again looking at the ultra wide camera here with different perspective it performs quite good if you zoom in so there is no loss of detail so there is one real big issue with the camera here uh, i'm not sure if it is with the image sensor only or with just the software algorithm because if it's with the software algorithm they can easily update and fix this issue so as you can see this particular image here i think i've used one filter here but then again it shouldn't be an issue if i use the filter but the camera performs really really bad as you can see at the corner here there is color infringement going on so that is absolutely not acceptable when you're buying a camera phone so that too at this uh, generation here so we are seeing plenty of competition with respect to camera phones um, so there are better camera phones out there at this price range i would say make sure to check the description for other alternate recommendations here so i was quite disappointed with how this performed here with the just one filter so if you just capture normally this is the normal photo that i captured later just to test it out where the color infringement uh, happens again so there is no color infringement in the normal camera here but then again if you slightly start to edit the photo you will see that pop up again so that's the issue here that i did not expect from vivo so as you can see with direct sunlight here the sunset was going on and i tried to click picture with different color temperature again as you can see a little bit of vignetting and color infringement so this color infringement irritates a lot when you are capturing more photos so that's again a disappointing thing here so as i keep scrolling you can see the images how uh, they have come so yes some are better some are not and with respect to hdr it does uh, the job quite well when there is no wind but when there is a lot of wind it smudges out so again there is loss of detail there so as you can uh, see here again with some more macro photos so do not expect better images from the macro here instead use the 1x 2x or 3x zoom and capture close-up subjects so that would be better with 10x zoom again here it's not doing well and this one here particularly i shot this uh, to demonstrate how is the sharpness so the images come out quite softened so that's the disadvantage here i would have expected a little bit sharp photos out of the box again you have to use the sharpen tool in the editing later a little bit disappointing i would say with respect to hdr and filters as you can see it performs well in daylight conditions not so good in night conditions sure there is pro mode here with the vivo thing so it's quite brilliant for night photography there is plenty of settings that you can tweak to get excellent images in the night but again if you leave it to default it doesn't do that well so with the default camera if you want to capture night photos i would not recommend this one again as you can see as the light went down so this is where you can see with two seconds exposure here it smudges out completely so there is loss of detail here as you can see and know yourself so with uh, selfies again if you are capturing selfies in the night so it does the job really well like i said so the image software could have been better from the main cameras so that's what i would expect but again if you are looking for a gaming phone you can definitely buy this one because there is absolutely no issue that i found with respect to gaming as you can see it performed really well no heating issues uh, even if you play two or three games simultaneously one after the other completely uh, with respect to battery backup as well there is no issue at all the snapdragon performs really fast for multitasking and this phone is great for uh, with respect to battery backup as well so who is this mobile for so if you wanted a good selfie camera phone then i would definitely recommend buying this vivo t1 pro it does the job really well in capturing selfies but if you are capturing it from the rear camera you want excellent images from the rear camera i would suggest you look elsewhere so definitely check the description i will leave some alternate recommendation there is one from samsung which does really well and it also has 108 megapixel resolution there if you need in case so that does really well there again there is plenty of features to play with there is no no doubt about that when you own a vivo phone but if you are uh, buying it for the rest of the purpose you can definitely uh, buy this vivo t1 pro so i hope this video was helpful to you and clear in deciding if you want to buy this phone or not definitely if you like this kind of video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel don't forget to click on the subscribe button and to share it with your friends guys i will see you all in another one until then take care everyone bye bye